Welcome to the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast, your weekly dose of accounting and tax tips specific to small business owners. You will be on your way to growing your business and paying the least amount in taxes as legally possible. Here's your host, Mike Jezoshek, CPA. Hello and welcome back. Today's topic is where is my refund and what is a tax refund? Now, before we get into that, just a few housekeeping items. Reminder that we have a webinar coming up on May 4th. The name of that webinar is the 2022 Tax Strategies to Ensure Business Owners Pay the Least Amount Possible. This is going to be a free live webinar again May 4th. You can sign up for this at taxsavingspodcast.com forward slash webinar. And also a reminder, we have our Small Business Tax Savings Summit coming up June 14th and 15th. Again, this is going to be a virtual two-day, 12-hour event where we're going to walk away rejuvenated with ideas and implementation steps to lower your tax bill immediately. If you have not signed up yet, go now. Go to taxsavingspodcast.com forward slash summit. We also have a promo code for podcast listeners, and that is for $100 off, and that promo code is podcast taxes. Again, if you are a tax minimization program member, the Small Business Tax Savings Summit is included. All right, so on to today's topic. You know, over the years of being in the tax world, this idea of a refund, while appearing to be pretty simple, is oftentimes confused. And so that's why today we're going to talk about two things. First off, where is your refund? And then second piece, what is a tax refund uh, to begin with? So let's knock out the most important one first. First, you know, where is my tax refund? Where is your tax refund? And, you know, we always say refund, it's your money, and so we want to know where it is. So before we go too far into that, I just want to outline first, the best way to ensure a quick refund is to do a few things. One, complete an accurate tax return. Two, file electronically, e-file. And then three, choose direct deposit as your refund method versus a check. So again, before we get into kind of where is that refund, the best way to ensure the quickest refund possible is one, complete and accurate tax return, e-file that tax return, file it electronically, and choose direct deposit. Now, if you've already filed and you're wondering where your money is, the IRS actually has a site that you can go to and check. You will need your social security number, you'll need your filing status, so single or married, and you're also going to need the exact refund amount. And in the show notes, we're going to have a link to a blog post that we have that has a link to where you can do this on the on the IRS website. It's just, you'll see that link in there, it says check IRS refund status. You'll go there, it'll ask for your social security number, filing status, and the exact refund amount, and it'll give you an update as to where you are at in that process. The IRS also has a mobile app, the irs to go It's an official mobile app for the IRS that you can also do the same thing there. So a little bit about some of the information within this site. Um, the, the site is typically going to, going to give you an update, kind of the status of it within 24 hours after you have e-filed your tax return. Now, if you're mailing your return, you're probably looking at around four weeks before that website's going to have an update or potentially even further. Um, then they update that website of the status daily. They usually do it overnight. So if you check every morning or if you check in the morning, that's going to have the most recent update to it. It's normally updated daily. Most refunds. And I'm going to say most uh, because this has changed a lot within the past year. But most refunds are issued in in less than 21 days unless you have some specific credits or some things that they're looking at. Now, we'll say as of recently, that has been extended much further. uh, But that would be the typical standpoint. Uh, But the, the IRS tool follows your tax return from receipt to completion, giving you updates along the way. So there's going to be three kind of main updates that's going to show when you check that website. They're going to have received, approved, and sent. If it is showing as received, it means that the IRS has your return and they're still processing your return. So they have the return, but they're still processing it. They have not completely processed it. If it is showing as approved, it means that the IRS has approved your refund and are preparing to send that refund. So it does not mean that the refund has been sent yet. It just says that the the return has been processed and the refund has been approved. If it is showing as sent it means that the IRS has actually sent your refund. So be patient and you should see it the refund shortly in your account if it's showing as sent. Now, as a last resort, you can always try calling the IRS. So if you're checking the website, 
it's just not updating or anything like that. You can always try calling the IRS to get further information. Although we always recommend check the website first and as a last resort, use the call option. Within our show notes, a link to a blog post, we have two phone numbers you can call the IRS refund hotline and the IRS line for individuals. So check the show notes if you want to get to the point where you're going to have to actually call the IRS to get an update on your refund. Now, most state sites are going to have something very similar. So you can do a Google search for your state to find that specific area to check the status. So if you're doing this on the at federal side, there is more likely a site that you can also go to on the state side. Now, final part here. Since COVID has started, the IRS has been hit extremely hard when it comes to staffing and backlog. So expect delays in refunds, expect delays in phone calls. There's nothing that we can do on the accountant side uh, to speed up this process. Once the return has been e-filed, it's kind of in the IRS's hands to, to find out what the status is. So we can either check that website with the status or there's two phone numbers again in the show notes that you can check on where you can call them and see if you can get something over the phone that they may be able to give you some more information on. So that's kind of the idea about the where's my refund. Now we want to talk about what is a tax refund. Now, this may seem like a simple question, but there's oftentimes confusion around it. So we want to kind of break it down further. A tax refund is simply an overpayment of taxes that are being returned to the taxpayer. So if you're getting a tax refund, it basically just means that you paid too much in taxes and now they're giving you your money back. Now, so many people judge how much they pay in taxes based on their refund. You're going to hear things like, I got a big refund this year, so that means I saved a lot in taxes. Or last year, I got a bigger refund, so I must have missed something this year because my refund is less. Um, or or even I've hear, heard, heard small business owners say, I don't need to save on taxes because I get a refund every single year. Now, the U.S. is a pay-as-you-earn tax system, so you owe taxes as you earn it or as you make it. If you are a W-2 employee, you'll see this in your paycheck because your employer is already taking taxes out for you. You'll have your gross amount, and then the employer is taking taxes out of that. If you're a business owner, you're probably paying in quarterly estimated taxes. We've talked about this in previous episodes as well. Now, at the end of the year, when we file a tax return, we're simply doing a reconciliation of that. We're recording the income that we have received from various sources, along with any kind of deductions we have, credits, and the tax payments that we made throughout the year, whether that's from withholdings from a W-2, whether that's estimated tax payments. At the end of the year, we're basically filing a tax return that's recording all of our income, all of our deductions, as well as a record of the tax payments that we made. And at the end of that tax return, you're either going to have a tax refund or an amount due. A tax refund simply means that you pay too much in taxes throughout the year and an amount due simply means that you did not pay enough and now you owe the remaining. And so my goal with this is to simply change the way of thinking. Tax refund has nothing to do with how much you are saving in taxes. Whether you received a tax refund or you're owing money has nothing to do with how much you saved in taxes. And I want to make that very clear. So let's go through two hypothetical examples to try to demonstrate this. Let's say we have business owner number one. He had business profit of $80,000 and his federal tax was $20,000. And that business owner made estimated tax payments of $25,000. In this case, he's going to have a refund of $5,000 because his federal tax was $20,000. He made estimated estimated payments of $25,000. So his refund is going to be $5,000. He overpaid. He paid too much for $5,000. Now, let's look at example number two. You have the same business profit of $80,000. You have the same federal tax of $20,000. But business owner number two only paid estimated taxes of $10,000. In this case, he's going to owe $10,000 because he had federal tax of twenty dollars and only paid estimated taxes of ten. dollars so his tax owed is $10,000. So when we look at these examples, business owner number one got a refund of $5,000, and business owner number two owed an additional $10,000 when filing his return. However, if you look at the numbers, both taxpayers paid the same amount in taxes. And we just use this as an example simply to show you that your refund or lack of a refund is not a tool that you should be using to measure how much tax you paid or how much you saved by doing tax planning. 
Now, we had a member in our tax minimization program. By the way, if you haven't joined yet, join now. There's We have a ton of free content in there, a ton of good content on tax strategies, how to implement them. We have a bookkeeping training. We do monthly group training sessions where we deep dive into tax strategies. And my favorite part about the tax minimization program is that you have unlimited email access to our team to ask accounting and tax questions. You have an accounting and tax question that pops up, you have access to our team as part of our tax minimization program. We kind of say it's like having an accountant in your back pocket. But we had a member in our tax minimization program that shared a story about how last year they got a tax refund of $35,000, a tax refund of $35,000. This year, after going through our program and implementing the strategies discussed, they said they owed $16,000. Now, some might look at the refund piece alone and say they would have been better off not tax planning because last year they owed thirty five. dollars or last year they got a refund of thirty five, and this year they owed sixteen thousand. However, in reality, they went from paying a total tax last year of eighty five thousand dollars to only paying sixteen thousand dollars in total tax this year. So this is a great example of how your refund is not a tool to determine your tax savings. And so that's why we just want to always make this clear and to try to avoid any kind of confusion that there is in this in this area. So let's kind of talk about refund summary. First, if you're looking for your refund, if you've already filed your return, you're waiting on your refund, check the IRS website or mobile app regarding the status of your refund. If you're, if it's not updating, it's not showing up there, then you can resort to calling them. Um, but, but remember, the IRS is super backed up on both refunds and back on backlog on, on calls, so you might have some type of delay on both ends. But again, check the IRS website first. If that doesn't work or you're not getting any kind of updates or anything there, then you can call them. And within our show notes, we have a link to both the IRS website as well as phone numbers you can use to call the IRS. Second, a tax refund simply means that you paid too much in taxes throughout the year and the government agency is returning that money to you. And finally, and this should be the biggest takeaway from today's episode, is stop judging the amount of taxes you paid or your tax savings based on the size of your refund. So again, stop judging the amount of taxes you paid or how much you saved in taxes based on your size of the refund. The refund and the amount of tax you paid are not directly correlated. So again, hopefully that was helpful. We wanted to have an episode where we kind of show you, give you some ideas on where to look for your refund. We've had a lot of questions, a lot of people ask about that. And then we just want to touch on this idea of what a tax refund is, because I feel that there is so much confusion around this. So many people will go to their preparer and say, well, last year I got a refund of this. This year it's less. Why is that? We need to look into the details a little bit further to understand really uh, what a tax refund is. Again, don't forget to sign up for our live webinar May 4th. Go to taxsavingspodcast.com forward slash webinar. Don't forget to sign up for our Small Business Tax Savings Summit, taxsavingspodcast.summit, or taxsavingspodcast.com forward slash summit. We do have a $100 off coupon code, and that is podcast taxes. If you are a tax minimization program member, the summit is included. So if you want to join the tax minimization program, go to taxsavingspodcast.com forward slash tax. That's all I have today. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this gives some insights of kind of where your refund is and understanding what our actual refund is. And again, do not forget to check out our show notes for links to a blog post on this, as well as links to the IRS website and some phone numbers. Thanks again for listening to another episode. I will see you guys next week. This has been another episode of the Small Business Tax Savings Podcast. If you enjoy our weekly episodes, please leave a review and share with other business owners. You can find previous episodes and more information at www.taxsavingspodcast.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.